and welcome back to episode three of the Stephen Tries podcast. <laughs> this week we're talking travel slash holidays. Beautiful, Lovely. beautiful. Um, We've got uh, the boys yeah. in the room. And we're ready to chat. It's another um, one we've done before, though, isn't it? Yeah. No. Last time. Did we not? No. Just <laughs> on. Uh, <laughs> Did you not watch them? And then we're joined by Max Smith. Hello, everyone. He's rabbiting on there. Tom Cooney, who's yeah. disoriented. He's old, though, isn't he? He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Uh, Dave, who's laughing away. Yeah, as, uh, as per. But I think you're growing on people. I hope you know? so. I hope so. Definitely. No, thank you. Cheers, the, guys. They'll, they'll I mean, get there anything, one day. Yeah. They won't shut up about you. No, no, no. Yeah. no I don't mind that. Yeah, like, yeah, that's good. Takes the Talk heat away. off me and Max. <laughs> Any press is good press. Exactly. That's what I say. Exactly. Except for my drama teacher, Mrs. Press, who was <laughs> a naughty minx, Max. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, weekends. Weeks, actually. Uh, yep. Did you have a good one? Anyone do anything interesting? No. I was on TV. Well, uh, thanks, sure. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bank uh, station? Uh, no, they wouldn't have me, mate. Oh, was that actual TV? What, sorry? I thought it was a YouTube thing. No, Sky. Oh, Sky, Sky TV. Oh, Sky News. Uh, I was in the Keith Rupert Murdoch building. God, they've sunk so low. First name Keith. <laughs> Last name Murdoch. <laughs> Bet you'd sink, you fucking ton. Um, I think I'd more float. More like no, float, no, no. You know. Be harpooned. Um, anyway, I was in there. <laughs> Keith Rupert Murdoch. Yeah? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> what was that, Max? Nothing, I'm just having a sip of water. Oh, <laughs> just going to enjoy, uh, enjoy something like that. Anyway, uh, so I was uh, I was in the Keith Rupert Murdoch building. Uh, fun fact, his name is Keith. Uh, middle name's Rupert. Nice. Uh, nice <laughs> wow. Strange use of the word fun there from me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fun fact, number one. I just played uh, for Tim Looney. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was... Uh, it was a fun show. It this time I do mean fun. Uh, <laughs> the presenters were really good at just making it easy. Mm. I was on with Will and uh, Steve-O the Madman, who isn't Steve-O from Jackass. I was going to say, I was like, he's changed. Oh, Steve-O the Madman. <laughs> um, <laughs> gone from pranks to talking about football. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then afterwards, after we did the show, um, we were stood in a group and then Phil Thompson walked past because I think he was going to do Soccer Saturday. And he looked at me. And then uh, he just walked into the middle of the group and shook my hand and he was like, up the fucking reds, or words to that effect. Uh, could be libelous. And, uh, and I was like, how does he know about me? walked around saying that to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping for the best. He's an ambassador for Liverpool. It's just his job, mate. He's like a pickup artist, you know, it's got to work one percent of the time. <laughs> but I was, I was looking at him and then a part of me was thinking, God, he's watched the videos, hasn't he? <laughs> That's all mine. Oh, he was watching the show before, so he just he saw you were a Liverpool fan. Nice. I was like, oh. I nice. was, uh, was chuffed about that. They're, They're nice. doing all right, aren't they? Liverpool? Yeah, it's not the yeah. kind of show, Dave. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, for that. The next one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's. <laughs> In silence. <laughs> I tell you what, uh, well, what me and Dave did that afternoon oh, slash yeah. evening was uh, we went on a Prescott pub, pub crawl uh, for our mate Cameron's birthday. Uh, two good friends over here actually yeah, went to it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we turned up halfway through it and they were in the Weatherspoons. Oh my God. Yeah, the sights we saw. Honest, yeah, yeah. You- if you haven't been Prescott, um, it was just sum it up in Weatherspoons basically. This bloke started kicking off at a chair. Yeah. Like swinging at a chair, no jokes. Was this you, Dave? <laughs> he had he had uh, four women around him going, "Stop it, yeah, stop, stop it, it, Phil, stop it." And You're then, taking uh, it too far, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you got your top off, you mad bastard. Taking it too far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Did not he... taking it far enough. <laughs> Where's the chair? <laughs> he, he stripped his shirt off, swinging that round, then walking around like that, and then uh, an ambulance came. I don't know from the chair, man. <laughs> <laughs> Carpenter would have been just as good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. So he got taken out. And uh, I was taken by, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the chair. <laughs> uh, and I was. I walked towards Cameron, who was near the fight, but he wasn't doing anything. And some bloke goes, "Don't go near it, lads. You know, that's that's nothing. You want to meet my mate? Like, Do I want to meet them? Do I want to take his trousers? Off Angry off. local. Uh, but yeah, it was a. Uh, the next place we went Liverpool. to, little kick off there as well. Yeah, really? It's just, yeah, yeah, rowdy bunch. My bad. Is that Prescott. like a regular thing in Prescott? I don't, I don't know, mate. I'm not used nah. to it. <laughs> but because uh, Dave is, is from Kent, yeah. yeah, we watched uh, a Saints match. We did. And, uh, we did. I learned a lot. Me and Dave were getting into it as Saints fans, mm-hmm. just practicing the, the. Because Dave's from Kent. Couldn't, yeah, I don't, he, he didn't I don't. know what to say. I right. Okay. So I was teaching him. Exactly. Okay. So exactly. we were going like, come on, Saints! Come go. up the Ellens! Yeah, there you go. Circle him, you bastard! <laughs> Get him down! Get him down! That's a kick, that one! 
so that was that was, yeah. you know, that was good it was evening. Good. It was very yeah. nice. It was a uh, it was a uh, good evening. Like, Pick we, up any chicks? Nah, nah. Two taken feathers, yeah, mate. T- yeah, 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 yeah. We right played uh, a bit of um, Twenty One, didn't we? We did, we yeah. We did. Stay won. He didn't put no money in. I won. And he won. But I didn't, like, I didn't took, take the you money. Do, you done the you done the right thing. I yeah. said no. I can't take that. Not for me. So card game. 21. Oh, 21. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Try and find someone 21. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Up the fucking 21. <laughs> you bastard. Now, when I say Phil, Phil was the name of the guy. It wasn't Phil Thompson no. from. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Seemed like the whole bar knew Phil, though. Didn't yeah, it? yeah. Phil oh, must be a, a weekly thing with him. He's at it again. Yeah. Oh, um, Jesus. From the Prescott pub crawl, it leads us perfectly on to uh, travel, you know, getting about, having fun. Nice. Moving. I think we'll start with Tom. He's Tom. probably travelled the most. Uh, he's been places. Travelled everywhere. When I was young. Tom, our first topic is best and worst places you've been to. Okay. Uh, what springs to mind? <sighs> well, there's nowhere terrible I've been, I don't think. Some places are a bit more rough around the edges. And yeah. You've got to kind of... Uh... Well, So I went to Thessaloniki in Greece, and the first thing that happened, I was robbed. <laughs> um... <laughs> And that didn't spring to mind. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right. But, you know, it, 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 so, yeah, it was a bad evening, day. but I had yeah. a nice day then. Everywhere's, you know, some some places are a little bit, as I say, more rough around the edges. Yeah. And you've got to work a little bit harder. But, what did uh, they steal? They took everything, Dave. Literally everything? Yeah, I had, uh, oh. so I was on, I was away for six weeks, so I had yeah. a Nothing. big rucksack on. That's and, unfortunate, uh, that All way. my clothes, new clothes that I'd not worn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's a shame. Unfortunate, that unfortunate, unfortunate, Tom. Unfortunate. Yeah, but Greece is a lovely place, you know. Oh, I've been Make roads. Make your own mind up. That's all right. Roads. R H O. Roads, yeah, yeah, R H O. Uh, that's in Greece. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. As, Anywhere as... else? <laughs> Cos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is that, is that a party destination? I don't know. I'm Cos no supposed idea. to be, isn't it? Cos. I've no idea. I think so. I remember when I was, uh, I was looking for a you know, lad's holiday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shouldn't say lads, plural. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so just you and Ryan that went away. Uh, that was that was one time, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but the first lad holiday I had was with me with my other mate. Oh, yeah. uh, we went to Cavos. Ah, oh, you've got some up. stories. <laughs> got onto some business. Not on this, Tom. My parents <laughs> might be listening. Uh, uh, basically, one wild night, I was. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I was shaving my eyebrows, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I did like a little divot by accident. I uh, coloured it in, uh, but it didn't have any makeup, so I just used a blue biro. <laughs> oh, jeez! Looking sexy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The things I that happen when the lads are away. Down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, that's enough about. Uh, did you ever see that show, um, Sunsex and Suspicious Parents? I lived it, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why would you go on that? Like, I know. You know it was always kids. fake, wasn't it? Was there oh. a cash thing. prize at the end? No. See, like sometimes I did wonder because the reactions like were people were properly mortified. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think uh, so. They must have got a free holiday from it. They oh, must have definitely. said we're doing like some sort of holiday documentary. Yeah. Do you reckon? Do you reckon they didn't tell them that their parents would be there? Of course yeah, not. Because a lot of these kids, I, I know, the young, the show, yeah, I their parents the were probably is. paying for it. So yeah, they're probably the parents. I, I don't know who. I, th- I think I, I think BBC I Three were, who showed oh. it would have would have been the ones who paid for it, yeah. Yeah. saying it's uh, or we'll pay for some of it. Um, all you have to have is spends. Yeah, and they but do it, that, and then yeah, we get the parents in. But like you oh, say, if so it is set up, why the hell would you agree to that? No, it's do you know what so I mean? cringy. Oh. Like I'm boring on holiday. I yeah. can't read a book because. Obviously, I can't read. Who so, reads a book on a lad's holiday? You know, Whilst you know what, you're I'm banging never... Barbara, I'll be in back reading Harry Potter in a gym for <laughs> secrets. I've, I've never been on a lad's holiday. Oh, no, come with no. me, mate. <laughs> Just me, you. Okay. And, uh, parents. <laughs> me, bring, bring bring job, <laughs> we'll, we'll go to Iron Napa. And, uh, God, we'll put the nap in Iron Napa. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep by nine. Our <laughs> type of holiday. <laughs> in, uh, yeah, Kavos was. Uh, I remember we were talking about going to Kavos, and you were like, oh, I'm, not, "I'm not too sure I could go." And uh, yeah, why didn't you go? No. Uh, well, I think if you if you're the age of twenty, it's just it's an awful yeah, place I was to about go. Twenty five at this point. What is Kavos? Yeah. Where's that? It's a uh, it's it Cyprus. Do I look Greece? like a fucking atlas? Though? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Gee, I'm turn it down. Turn it down. Don't be right in the eyes, then. Actually, should we play a new segment? Right in the eyes, then. <laughs> do you, do you, do you do geography at school, man? You've got your own orbit. You know. Oh, 
Uh, Max, where's the uh, the best and worst place you've been? Oh, oh good question. The best uh, is your mum's house. Good to, one, Max. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're having fun. Yeah. Um, went to uh, Thailand as a, as a kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Picture me, fresh, new bowl at the pool. <laughs> yes. Uh, having a good time. Is that um, the one with the women? With, yeah, the yeah, one with the that women. Not, That's that what women Thailand is known for. Do you still work at the travel agency? <laughs> so, we got a great place with women oh, in. Yeah. <laughs> well, they've got weird... Uh, no. Anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> they got weird women. Got weird women. Come on, Max, take it <laughs> um, That was fun. Yeah, uh, went to James Bond Island where they filmed Man with a Golden Gun. Nice. Oh. I was like, hell yeah. Or was That's it Woman the- with a Golden Gun? Well, we well, don't know. We don't know. <laughs> Nor did they. <laughs> <laughs> it's Thailand. Anything's possible. Um, they, you know, it's the big rock where the laser beam comes out the end. Real, oh yeah, real good fun. Um, <laughs> soaked up the culture. Went to a Irish Irish <laughs> bar in Thailand. <laughs> that was fun. Um, worst place? I don't know. Probably some, you know, crap camper van park. So, yeah. so uh, not into them. Is Thailand I say that's the, best the furthest place you've been. been as well? I guess it's hard to go any further than that, isn't it? That's so true. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would say it's You've the furthest it. I've been. Have you oh. been on holding not with parents? No. When was no. the last time you oh, went away? Uh, I, I went to LA for college. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. so that was fun. Nice. Nice. That's not um, as good as Thailand. Yeah. No, I, I, it was one of them, I think, because you're, you're with teachers all the time. and it's like, yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah. you don't really get to Does experience it. It's just, mm. here's Universal Walk. All right, there's a Bubba Gump shrimp company that I can't, you know. I spent all my money the first t- couple of days. Didn't you have um, a really um, dodgy what? Taco Bell before you got on the plane? Oh, no. I've, oh, no. Oh, devastating. So they, uh, the teachers went, right, we, we're going to get to the airport. We've got a 12-hour flight ahead of us. But before, we're going to go to a restaurant. We'll get some food. Yeah. Uh, they take us to Taco Bell, which I didn't know dodgy is famous choice. for giving you extreme diarrhoea. Um, so I get there. I've got uh, like this is going. I've got twenty dollars left, and I'm like, I'm gonna spend it. So I got like their version of a bargain bucket. <laughs> Just got all this food uh, yeah. on the, in the taxi. Having a great time. time. <laughs> <laughs> um, get on the plane, and about two hours in, it starts. But I'm stuck the in the pl- middle of the aisle. <laughs> So I don't want to get have to keep getting up and going. So no. I just sit there for twelve hours, shit <laughs> nah. yourself, holding it in. What? Yeah. Yeah. This you, rectum you was, is strong, baby. Do you know what's ironic? <laughs> is that airport is called LAX and that's lax. That's so <laughs> that is so true. Um, what are the chances. And so we got off the plane, and I run to the. I'm not going to lie, the disabled toilets. Toilet. Yeah. I needed. Uh, to well, spread no one's going to ban island. Exactly. 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 Um, and I just erupted. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, like lava. <laughs> oh, rusty tap water. Really? Oh, yeah. mate. Oh. Yeah. And like everyone that was waiting for me on the coach, <laughs> so I took about 10 minutes. Oh. Where oh. the fuck have you been, Max? <laughs> <laughs> would you Don't, do it again, though? I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. I have done it again. <laughs> I got there specifically just to get Taco Bell. You fly back. They sell that over here now, don't they, Taco Bell? There you go, you don't have to travel as far, mate. That's true. You want to get the shits. <laughs> um, weirdly, one of my uh, one of my questions was, uh, which country has the up? best and worst food? Ooh. So, I reckon America is up there for worst. Controversial. Yeah. Really? Mm. See, I love a burger, me. No. Can't go wrong with a burger. Yeah. Or Italy, they do pizzas in that. <laughs> So, that's, yeah, that's authentic. It, though, Italy's, isn't it? it's true. Italy's true. <laughs> quality. When I went to Italy, it definitely had the best food. Yeah. See, I uh, don't like tomatoes that much, so I was a bit stuck. Have a carbonara, Dave. <laughs> See, I, I, that, that's when I found my love for carbonara. Ah. So, uh, <laughs> I often wondered where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> that's that one In thing case I can you're wondering. <laughs> He's always got a bag of white sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Noki. That's, that's banging and all. No, not Nocky. for me. What's Nocky? Ravioli. Like the little balls. Balls. balls potatoes. Yeah, balls. Pasta. Potato dumplings. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Pasta oh, yeah, potatoes, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Nice. Oh, nice. We'll yeah, try yeah. Some. You can have you, whatever you want in them. Like, uh, they have wild boar. Because well, that's nice. a big thing over there. In, in Noki? Uh, no, just in general. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. They love it over there. Do you Tom, love an it? Indian as well? See, I don't mind Indian. Yeah. Can't go wrong with But I've never been India, so I couldn't tell you what proper Indian feels yeah. like. Tastes like. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> like mm. I love it on the fair. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, as a vegan, uh, yeah. which countries just don't cater to you? Eastern Europe, they're not really there yet. It's just, <sighs> it's just meat, yeah. cheese. Do you struggle yeah. on on a day? It's well, a lot a of chips. Yeah. What about fish? Do you do fish? No, vegan, mate. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> That's a pescatarian. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, mate. 
You said America was bad though. Yeah. What, why is it just based kind of... on a? It's not that bad. Obviously, I think that when I went to New York, there's some decent places. Yeah. But you have to go higher up, like you know, higher upstate, if you will. <laughs> uh, mm. But when it's when it's downtown, it's it's just like you know, massive portions yeah. and it almost oh. becomes man versus food. And <laughs> it's not what you want, is nah, it? Nah, nah, nah. Don't need that. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mate. <laughs> you Daddy what... would thrive in that environment. <laughs> I went to watch a baseball game in America yeah. and the hot dogs they walk around with, to be fair, they do say it to them. Was the baseball nice? players are massive. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> they walk around, right? <laughs> and they uh, they got these loads of Budweiser's because that's their beer over there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he's going around, he's going, too true. Budweiser, Budweiser, Bud Light. Anyone for a Budweiser, Budweiser, Bud Light? Budweiser, Budweiser, Bud Light. He got to me and my dad went, you got any Heineken? And he, and he didn't know how to take it. He was like, sorry, sir, we only do Bud Light and Budweiser, 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 Bud Light. Budweiser, Budweiser. And just walked off. Oh. Like, and didn't bother. You'd be quite so, good at that job. I, I, thought, I, was, I, yeah. I thought that was a good impression. To me. Oh, worst place for food. And in general, the worst place I've been is Saint-Tropez. Uh, it? It's Saint just, it's a, uh, is it, it's on the, Coast of France, I don't know which one. On South, the, uh, maybe. Riviera. Riviera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that was just the the people there. Oh, is this the rich like, one? Uh, yeah, like yeah. the staff there. Oh, they, they make like... you feel horrible just for even oh. looking at them. Yeah. It's like you've got to earn their respect to even get in the place. <laughs> we were trying to get seated. And How were you dressed? It was uh, yeah, it was empty. But I was with Will, uh, and he was dressed in a Newcastle top. Right. And they were just yeah. going. Uh, yeah, so mistake. we're, we're fully booked tonight, and I was like, "Oh, your Middlesbrough fans!" And they, they, <laughs> uh, they were they were just like palming us off, and everywhere would just look at us and be like, "We eventually got in a place, and they put us right at the back of the restaurant." And uh, <laughs> <laughs> by the bin, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's, when it came to the food, I think Will got a, a pasta dish that was 180 euros. <gasps> oh, yeah, Jesus. God, and it man. came, and it was like this big sort of seafood dish. And they, they must have put three, like, fork mm. swirls of, of pasta on a plate, put a bit of crab on it, and walked off. And his jaw <laughs> just dropped. It was like, what That's the That's worth hell? that much. I, I got the chef specialty pasta, which is about 40 euros. And uh, I thought chef needs sacking. <laughs> the speciality is plain pasta with a bit of cheese on top. What a plum, mate. Get him out of a job. Uh, yeah, that, that was just... I, hate, I hated the vibe there. You know, get me back to Kavos with the, mm. the flirty waitresses. Yeah. Uh, Poncy fuckers over yeah. there, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. aimed at you, though, yeah. is it, that part of the world? Yeah. Maybe not. 40 quid, that's two bargain buckets, mate. Best place yeah. would be you, uh, Amsterdam, I think. That was sick. Cool yeah. place. Yeah, yeah. Amsterdam's and good. We can all agree Amsterdam. Caters right? to all. Yeah. Exactly. Max should like Amsterdam. It's got... Yep. Weed and women. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And... Uh, the two W's. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's got yeah. It's expensive. It, it, yeah, yeah. Uh, very expensive. Yeah. It's like London, I suppose. I think oh, it's, London it's more than London. Do you well, think? Worse than I think so. Yeah. Oh, Similar, uh, but the uh, no, the prostitutes in London are not cheap. What a bluey! I'll be a favour. If lacking in quality. <laughs> <laughs> For the price of pasta and cheese. It's cheap, but you don't want yeah. it. <laughs> it's ten pounds, or that is forty book pies. I take out. I remember walking down Amsterdam. You know the strip with the prozies. Oh the, yeah, red light yeah, district. Yeah, yeah, red light yeah, district. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. And uh, I was walking with Jenna. I was like, Oh, go on, let's have an early birthday present. Go on, <laughs> sort us out. <laughs> um, she said no. Oh, <laughs> that's oh. Gutted. I thought you're well out of order. Yeah. 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 I'm uh, let her go down the blue district. When, uh, <laughs> when, uh, <laughs> when I uh, when I tried the Mada Wilder for the first time, uh, I was I was, it didn't thanks guys yeah. I was I was doing it and uh, my girlfriend's always going, I don't think it's working on you. I was like, <laughs> probably not. You know, I've lived. <laughs> I've tell you about the time I went to Cavos, um, <laughs> and. Uh, Basically, because of my blocked nose, it just wasn't going into my system because <laughs> I couldn't breathe it in properly. Then the next day, uh, you know, just off my head on Alba soil. Uh, I, I tried it and then just coughing everywhere. I had to you know, embarrass myself in the cafe on the weakest sativa they had. Uh, oh, but it, would you do it again? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Uh, I, I was just, you know, coming, coming back into my thoughts as I was sat in a bath going... 
What am I doing in the bath? <laughs> uh, your proper hangover stuff, you know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's Amsterdam for you. Yeah, yeah. What about the, uh, in terms of UK holidays, have you been on any of those? Yeah, yeah. Went uh, Northampton. Well, yeah, Northampton, yeah, yeah. The what? Santa Pay of England. <laughs> What's uh, New Forest? Any of you been New Forest? <laughs> yeah. Oh, these are southern places, to be fair. Right. Oh, you might know, Max. <laughs> New Forest. New Forest. New Forest, sure. yeah. yeah. New Forest, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a good one, New Forest. It's basically... <laughs> <laughs> the New Forest. It's basically yeah, yeah, yeah. in a forest. One of my favourite uh, forests. You used to add a better something. <laughs> But you go camping and there's horses and, and shit. In the new forest. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they've got these cool trees. They're different to what, other trees. The, oh. What? You should search them up. I will do. That's new, what I'm going to do with my internet. New forest trees. <laughs> new forest trees. <laughs> You've been away much in the UK? I've been to the Lake District quite a bit. Yeah, nice. Uh, but when I was there, I was just constantly doing things wrong when I was a child. Uh, whereas <laughs> now I'm really good. Uh, my dad went... Uh, Hey Steve, why don't you get the mother rices out the boot? And uh, <laughs> music to my ears, I love to dairy treat. So, uh, so I headed off there, opened it up, came back, and then about five minutes later, yeah, I had a mouthful of rice pudding. And uh, he, I think my dad goes, "Have you got the car keys?" <laughs> Oh. What? <laughs> so, so I uh, waddled back to the car, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh no! And everything was locked. Uh, so he lost his no claims. <laughs> he just didn't speak oh, to me for a while. Unfortunate. It was frosty in the Beatrix Potter Museum. I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, that was. That was, was that a camping one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Have you done caravanning before? Went to went to a Wales caravan site. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. that's just Britain Pontin, and that. The usual. Uh, I've been to Pontins. Yeah, that was good. Did you say Pontins? Yeah, right? I, did say, I did say Pontins. <laughs> Is that one with the dinosaurs, the logo? I think so. Pontins. I don't know. The Not Jurassic sure. Park, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went on a couple of them when oh, I was younger. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You sort of embrace them when you're Impressive. there. You know, it's like... Oh, I went to Sandy Fun. Balls. <laughs> Sandy Balls! Sandy Balls! Hey! You know Sandy Balls? Yeah, yeah I know Sandy Balls well. Near the New Forest. Yeah. Fucking hell. Sandy Balls. Yeah, yeah. Sandy Balls. Yeah, Sandy balls. Yeah, Worst yeah, name, but... Yeah, it's not a bad What's place. What's Sandy Balls? It's a camping place. Okay. Camping place. Camping. Have you three investigated it yet? <laughs> Did you ever do any of, like... Cause they used to put, like, activities on, didn't they? Like, kind of, in the evening, like, in function halls and stuff where they'd get kids up on the stage. Yeah, who can lick the peanut butter off this? Sandy balls. <laughs> I just remember. And all the sandy balls come to the stage, please. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, I went to, is it a Butlins? Butlins. Oh, yeah. bit at market. Mm. How is it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. But they put like a wrestling show on. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. care. That's just the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I just remember I got pushed into some queue, like in the middle of the afternoon where they were doing... Some guy on the stage was kind of bringing the kids on one by one. So I'm like, gonna you know, the, that's the Superman music. Yeah. Oh and like, yeah! You take your top off. What? what? Oh and wait, is this? This is a remix. And you do like you know you do the things kind of you know. And it was. Uh, I just remember being in the queue. Like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> like, I don't know how old I was. It must have been about eight or nine. Yeah. And it got. To, I was like the next one in, and I just ran off and cried in the top. Yeah. I just didn't go up. To be fair, that happened yeah. very similarly to me and Kevos when they were doing these uh, <laughs> these drinking games. It was like, uh, all right. First one to pass me there, red knickers wins, and then you no, know, some of them are just straight <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah. There's you of your colour. I'm just sat there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got every colour but red. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a teal thong. People Brian. said you won't need it. To do <laughs> they laughed at me then. <laughs> yeah, that I was just out of my comfort zone there. Yeah, yeah. The, the worst holiday I did, it wasn't a holiday. I told you about it a while ago on the podcast, but I, I was just thinking about it today. Uh, it was when me and the lads, uh, four of us this time, so oh, yeah. uh, nice. d- double the Spice usual. Yeah, yeah. Uh, only two of us actually went. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, we're going to cycle to the Lake District and have a lads' holiday, you know, on the bikes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, everyone dropped out except for two of us. Oh. Uh, did you get a tandem bike? No, <laughs> I wish we had. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I got Google Maps that were made for a car, not a bike. Uh, we then got the train, got lost again. And I think my mate who I was with was trying to, like everyone had doubted us getting there, rightly so. But he was really trying to prove them wrong. So I was thinking, why is he taking pictures of us in the tent? Like pictures of his legs and stuff. Then I twigged, oh, he's trying to send them to the people back home yeah. saying, look, we did it. We're actually doing it. When in reality, we're sat in this tent 
as there's a group of pe- like school kids doing D of E further down the field, <laughs> and all we've got to do is play, you know, Tracy Beaker top trumps. No word of a lie. Oh, man, the best man. kind. Of Battered him. Trumps. Anyway, we went <laughs> we went back home the next day. Tragic. How oh, did you get, did you go home all right or? Um, we got the train and then got uh, our mate to pick us up from, <laughs> from Preston. <laughs> Went to the Stratford Centre, uh, had a burrito. Oh, oh yeah. how was your uh, bowels? Cheers. <laughs> bowels were strong. Well, really? Nice. Yeah, nice. they were being on that bike seat for three hours really <laughs> warmed them up. I should have gone Held to Sandy Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> they would have been relaxed. Oh, God, yeah. I'll tell you what. Um, <clears throat> A little game of Stephen Lies with a twist. Okay. So when I was on uh, National TV on uh, on Saturday, we did this game where you get 30 seconds to name as many of one topic as possible. Okay. Um, so with the topic being travel, you know, travel uh, I think the question is going to be, with 30 seconds, and I've got a timer here, who can name, or how many capital cities can you name in 30 seconds? Dave, start it off. Start off low. Uh, I'll go, I'll say about six. Five. Five. <laughs> Tom, can you top that? Yeah. Go on, yeah. just up it. Twenty. No, for oh. fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Fine. For the sake 12. of content, 12. up it's more. Okay, I can do twelve. Don't double it, just add on three, mate. Fucking <laughs> hell, I can do eight. <laughs> uh, I, oh, I can do ten. <laughs> <laughs> Good content. Lies. Good content. Lies. Lies. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Um, I can do 12. I'll, I'll, I'll go 14. Shut <laughs> it. I think for the sake of content, we have to go live here, don't we? No, no, I reckon. Nah, I, don't, I don't think so. I, I, so, I, I want to so. see Tom do 20. Because yeah. you said you could do 20. 20. Okay, I yeah. Right. How, how, many, how long have I got? 30 seconds, mate. 30 Three, seconds. two, one, go. Edinburgh, Dublin, Belfast, London, Paris, Lisbon, Madrid. Uh, Luxembourg City, Amsterdam, Brussels, Sofia, uh, Sarajevo, Belgrade, Moscow, Stockholm, Minsk, Tallinn, Vilnius, Riga, Oslo, Reykjavik. Okay. There was no way any me or Dave were going to beat that. Can Cardiff? (laughs) Can we see Dave try and do 14? (laughs) Um, Dave. You have got 30 seconds. And you can't name Joe, any of the ones that you've got. You're putting 35, you maniac. No, no, the five seconds at the end is the shh. Oh. Is the gong. No, I... I get you. Uh, Dave. Shit, 14. Oh, 14 skills. countries in general, but you can't have any of Great Britain. Right, a country. No, 14 cities. countries. Cities. Countries. Yeah. Countries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you can't have any that Easy Great ones. Britain. <laughs> you can have easy ones. Go. Germany. France. Belgium. Austria. America, Japan, China, Tokyo, uh, Hong Kong, uh, <laughs> Russia, <laughs> Bolivia, <laughs> Madagascar, <laughs> Tunisia, Australia, <laughs> New Zealand. Well done, Dave. Yeah. The Madagascar <laughs> threw me off a bit. <laughs> Madagascar. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> uh, well done. Thank you. Uh, and that's enough of Stephen Lies. Yeah, yeah. Unless yeah. Max has sucked his cock in a country. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Still... I can name 14 right, <laughs> <there>, right now. <laughs> Madagascar. <laughs> <laughs> I did see that in the deleted scene of that. <laughs> oh. Just the zebra. No. Um, <laughs> now, there's something we need to clear up. Last week, we... We had a guest on, oh, and yeah. things went a little bit rogue. Yeah. Max, it was someone that you knew well, and you missed it, Max. We disrespected them in a way. So um, yeah, because I, I remember I left to use the toilet because I was, yeah, was busting. Yeah. yeah, and uh, obviously, Ma- Max, I don't know. Actually, it was, it was a mix-up. Yeah, we. I didn't would you realize... would you be able to go and get your headmaster, please? And we need to apologise. I didn't realise right. he was here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, weirdly enough, I actually need to go use the toilet again. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'll be back soon. You will. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Here he is. Yay. It's it's uh, Max's old show. headmaster. Did you pass Max in the hallway? He gave me a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I, spilt, I spilt one of my two cans down my shirt and oh. he said you can wear this one. Oh, he's a good lad like what, that. What a guy. So he's shaking his booty off in the toilet whilst I have a sit down and talk. <laughs> and Strange I feel language. like we need to talk. 
Yeah, well, yeah. Didn't you do enough last week? <laughs> Little joke. You having a fucking laugh? <laughs> uh, don't be swearing, no, 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 please. Come on, it's, it's, uh, it's not that kind of show, mate. I'm it's here kids. to speak my mind, and my mind is fuming. <laughs> last week, I come in here with so a promise. I'll, I'll sort of ask you a question so you can talk, mate. Um, so, Toucan. Sorry, I'm not here to talk about your Apology questions. Apology accepted. I'm fuming. Toucan. toucan. Uh, what was your favourite part of, of being a headmaster? People would listen when I fucking speak. <laughs> I'm on stage and I go, Welcome to Assembly, kids. Toucan McCartney. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about God. Yeah. I came in last week to talk about God for an hour. <laughs> Thanks and you God. didn't let me speak. Well, well, Tuka, we don't really have an hour to spare for a segment, no. you know. On God? It's kind of a quick-fire no. thing. It is. Yeah. So you're a, you're a religious man? No! Right. <laughs> <laughs> I tell these kids, don't listen to Bible, don't drink communion wine or eat their bread. <laughs> Sit down and do your maths GCSE homework. Yeah. And I'll give you a good grade. Yeah. You, oh, so you actually grade the GCSEs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seems a little bit wrong, that, don't you think? It should be someone completely unbiased to... How? Whose pay, yeah, you? the, your yeah. pay is sort of based on how the, the GCSEs go. Not at all. I don't get paid. I do it for free. I do it for love of craft. Right. I sit there and I'm grading papers. A star, A star, A star. Is there and any I, point in going to your school? Yeah, you'll you get learn good grades. <laughs> yeah, Clearly. Clearly. <laughs> uh, Headmaster, did you did you teach a subject before you became a headmaster? Did you yes. Just, what did you teach? RE, religious studies. <laughs> <laughs> How did that go? Very well, thank you. Everyone got A star. I said, do you believe in God? They say, no. I say, well done. Pat them on bum, off they go. <laughs> yeah, patting them on the bum, that's, that's not it. really something you do in a school, is it? No, no. Well, this was a uh, school for over over-aged children. <laughs> right. over children. Over-aged? Is there any? Well, yeah. it kind of leaves us on nicely, doesn't it? Because, you know, it's very brave of you to come on. Yeah. I'm a brave man, I, yes. Very brave. In light of the allegations, that, uh, I'm sure. <laughs> so if you, if you look I'm at sure this image I've got it. <laughs> so for those uh, at home, we'll put an image on screen if you're on YouTube. So this is a story that broke uh, on Sky News during yep. the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I remember this well. It was this week? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was last week. Yeah. Uh, I say last week, it's Monday today. It's actually actually left the studio in a a (laughs) furious storm. (laughs) So it's allegations of inappropriate behaviour. I was so angry, I go outside and I say, I'm going to suck anyone off. (laughs) Because I'm fuming. What what did you do? Tuka. Uh, So the headline said, the headmaster. Thank you. uh, (laughs) And headmaster is in quotation marks. (laughs) Teacher got offering to give students oral sex over Snapchat. (laughs) Um, So headmaster. Yes. um, Do you refute these claims? No. (laughs) <laughs> I, am, I stand proud by what I did and what I said. Toucan. I have a premium Snapchat. <laughs> Toucan, uh, are you worried that your career as a headmaster, a voluntary headmaster, is over? Nope. <laughs> it's in the title, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm still a headmaster. I just came back from shift at school today. So, you know, last week, yes. the subject was school and education. Sure. This year we're talking about, this year, this week we're talking about travel. Oh, travel. I do a lot of travelling. Really? Even with your ankle tag? <laughs> <laughs> very what? funny, son. Very funny. What are your but school bef- trips like? Well, we go to uh, Amsterdam. <laughs> I take them down Red Light District and I say, look at these women. You're not getting any of them. You're coming back to hotel with me and I'm going <laughs> to suck you all off. <laughs> but and again, that was two can McCann yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you see Max Smith out there, please, him back here. please get him. We prefer him. <laughs> oh, he's a character, that guy. He's a character. I don't think that went well. <laughs> we, well, you know, we... Can we, we use any of that? We take the issues head... Max, either. Oh, you are, Max. Um, I don't know if you Whoa. passed... Uh, you gave him a shirt back and it's got a load of cum stains on it. That's two cam a cam for you. Oh, Jesus. That leads us perfectly on to <laughs> IMAX. Hey! hey! Best section. Max, uh, I've, I don't actually know this week what film you've watched. Um, so, please break the news. Last night I got in steaming. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And I went on to that. Where have you been? Oh, Ryan Bell's uh, house. Okay, cool. Yeah. Other houses yeah. are available. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And I went on to Netflix. <laughs> Sorry, you're not boring me. It was no, it's all right. Don't worry about up. it, mate. I'm used <laughs> to it. Sorry. Joking, on, joking, on. joking. Sorry. Let me, let me do Start my again. Segment. Edit all that out. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Max here. Uh, with IMAX. Um, 
Today, I am going to review the great film Eat, Pray, Love. <laughs> oh, right. I've not seen it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, Is it starring? It stars... Is it Julia Roberts, I think? <laughs> uh, the guy that it. plays Dr. Manhattan in Watchmen. Uh, Javier oh. Bardem. Uh, How do you and, know who it stars? <laughs> and James Franco. Oh. Uh, um, not a fan of him. He done something wrong, didn't he? Probably. Yeah. Saint, no. oh, I think yeah. he did actually send a, a dodgy, dodgy Snapchat, believe it or not. Yeah, really? <laughs> Well, Won't put it past him. Um, no. So the film starts with uh, the character Elizabeth, Liz, uh, leaving her husband of eight years, who is called Stephen. Oh, oh is this uh, so? Her leaving is that to do with travel? Yeah, she wants to travel. He doesn't. Right. Ah. So she she says fuck you and leaves. There is travelling in the film, isn't there? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I fucking hell. You, Give me time. Apologies. I'm so yeah. close to getting to that part as well. <laughs> she leaves him for a man called David. Oh. Uh-huh. So, How queer. Yeah, very strange. Though. Very, very strange. Um, then she goes to India and does some praying, and he goes to Italy and eats some stuff and meets Javier Bardem, fall in love. What's his name, Tom? Uh, no. <laughs> Disappointing. Uh, I forgot his name, so I was quite drunk. Uh, but yeah. That's it. So this is a film review. Max, you've, <laughs> you've barely... Sh- Scratched the surface of this. Right. I wanted to learn That's about culture. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You went to Here Italy we and had a it's fucking. Like you don't know it's, a, it's a Plan B production. Uh, it's what she, Plan B the rapper. I was going to say. So that's what I thought at first, but no. It turns out it's just <laughs> that's just the name of a production company. Right. Um, she talks a lot about sex in the film, and she goes to right. uh, Italy, tries out a lot of good food. With oh, fact, she goes to Italy. She goes. Yeah. To I Italy. thought you said he goes to Italy. No, 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 no. Um, she meets a guy called Luca Spaghetti. Uh, he's a fat guy with a beard. Sounds really? like one of your, sounds yeah, like one of your characters, mate. Right, okay. Can we can we meet Lucas Spaghetti yeah. next week, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I'll get him in. I'll yeah, get him in. Thank yeah, you. Another guest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After that barnstormer of a, of a guest, um, so she stays there for a bit and learns to love herself. Oh, good. Uh, at which good point she so what, so what is India. what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is life isn't about sex. Life isn't about love. What's it's the undertone? The undertone, life is about sex. Sorry, so you said she <laughs> learns to love herself. That seems yeah. to be like a key kind of theme. A key theme yeah. in the film. So how, did she, how did she go about She that? spent her whole life... Just, just by being in Italy? Uh, well, she meets people, but right. basically she spent her whole life thinking that she needs to be with someone, someone. Yeah. to be happy. That's and then she the learns case. that she doesn't need so that. She doesn't end up with Lucas Spaghetti. No, no, no. Lucas Spaghetti gets no action in the film. No. <laughs> which, as a fat-bearded man... I was not happy. Doesn't about. shock you. And oh, I have yes. written to Plan B Productions an angry letter saying I want more representation in your film. Max, um, <laughs> you know the way you took on Love Actually and you know yeah. flipped it on its head. Yeah. Could we get that for this, please? <laughs> um, uh, okay, let me think. Um, You're so much more passionate. Yeah, because yeah, all you've done is just given us what we know right. here. It's the basic plot. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't I th- know if you knew it because most of you haven't seen the film. <laughs> So I've that. told you, I have given you some new information. <laughs> no, but, 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 but if I looked at the plot, IMDb I for three like seconds, I'd, I'd probably catch up. Uh, uh, okay, um, eat, pray, love. She does a lot of eating in the film. Does a lot of praying in the film. Not a lot of loving. Uh, especially with Lucas Spaghetti. <laughs> I feel like I keep going back to um, <laughs> Sorry, right. You did watch the film, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, did you watch the film? <laughs> she argues Promise? with the, Yes. You watch this whole film. If you want to go back to mine and check the Netflix, uh, I don't. I don't. Thing, <laughs> you'll see that I've watched it. Um, More of this. Don't bother watching the film. Yeah, it's all right if you want to watch a rich woman get laid all the time. I thought there was no sex. There isn't. I'm just. <laughs> you know, it's, it's Max, a lot of arguing. It's a lot Max, of arguing right now. Max, you've let yourself down. I can't here, deal mate. with this. You know, <laughs> I'd rather watch Eat, Pray, Love than have to deal with it. <laughs> I thought, I thought last week's IMAX went badly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But at least you, you gave it energy yeah. and, a, uh, and a chance. Yeah. Yeah. I believed in it for a while. Yeah. But then it's this right. week, it, you've just not even tried to sell it. So this week on Tom Looney, uh, I've, uh, <laughs> previously, <laughs> in the half an hour before the show, I thought I'd find some uh, interesting or funny reviews, genuine reviews from uh, Thomas Cook, rest in peace. Oh, <laughs> they, they still owe me a grand. Really? Yeah, Bastards. Yeah, yeah. Santander won't give me a, a letter to return it. Do you hear me? Arseholes. Yeah. Well, anyway. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, some of these seem made up, but now apparently these are genuine reviews from holidays. Uh, so, 
First off, no one told us there would be fish in the sea. <laughs> Our children were startled. <laughs> there Where we go. That? Does it have a location? Uh, these mostly on uh, package holidays in Spain. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we went on a canoe trip, but were very disappointed that no one told us there would not be a bathroom on board. It was very inconvenient and uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, come on. Just pissing it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You said the town was next to a volcano, but we went there and there was no lava. I'm pretty sure it was just a mountain. (laughs) (laughs) On our trip to New York, the streets were dirty and we saw people asking for money. It was depressing. There should be a warning to travellers. (laughs) Oh, God. Yeah. When when I went into New York, within the first five minutes of going out there, some guy goes, nice hat. I go, thank you. He goes, oh, you're from England. Yeah. He goes, whereabouts? Manchester. And he goes, oh, a guy from Liverpool just gave me two quid. Oh, fucking hell, I have to up in. <laughs> he even told me to uh, never speak to people. Well, yeah. You know what my mantra is? Eat, pray, love. <laughs> so you've got your couple of classics from people that just can't really get over the language thing. Why doesn't everyone speak English? We went to Spain and no one understood us. We will never go back there again. <laughs> God. What really rattles my goat <laughs> on is holidays... Dad? <laughs> <laughs> on holidays is I feel like we're the only ones that can queue. Yeah. Everyone else, they just push in. Like, you know when you're queuing at a flight to get your buffet food and that? Yeah. We're all queuing up, like, all the English, because we love a queue. Yeah. We? No one else knows how. They just, uh, mind you, the European countries do. I suppose <laughs> they, uh, they catch on. But everyone else is like, no, that's mine. Oh, he, yeah. he's, he's obviously... I don't know what they think we're doing. I think Brits just don't want to say anything. No, no, yeah, we, we, we stand far. there and we get dead angry and we're looking around, but we don't want to say anything. Steven, like, just staring. The other, yeah. the other day I was on a train and it was like, he sounded very French, the guy. He's just telling these stories that, like, really loud in the carriage and like every other word was fuck. <laughs> and uh, he told people we're just, we're just going like that. And then, see. That's all we did for about a two-hour yeah. journey. Just, oh, like, and then, again. yeah, just making little <laughs> snidey comments, but no one would actually speak up to. Yeah. Right, okay, so this week, put it to the max. Whee! Yeah. Whee! 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 Uh, there's only been a couple of questions this week, so it's kind of slim pickings. So, <laughs> uh, All right. so we'll start with this one. Uh, max, just wondering if you have pokey bum wanks. <laughs> If so, how many fingers? Send from my iPhone. <laughs> Is this two camera cameras? Uh, no. 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 Have you have you ever no thought about it? I've thought about. It. I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> um, treat but, yourself when you get home. <laughs> no. Is it a treat? Is it? I no. don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh. All the Depends alphas in the room. Too, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Put the cameras off. It's lovely. <laughs> I'd recommend it. Fair enough then, Henry. I'm oh, sorry, he said <laughs> didn't he has to be uh, anonymous? No, nah, he's lost that. He's yeah. lost that uh, right. So Privilege. the answer's no. This one cut me a little deep. Um I feel like people don't know who I am. Hey Matt, Stephen, Tom, and that Cooney bloke. Hey! <laughs> I've had a problem with some of my friends recently. There's been rumours spreading around that I've shat myself in a certain video going around online, recorded by my friend John. Oh, John. The distinct squelch doesn't help my case. I've been getting relentless stick from my friends, mostly being nicknamed Squelchy Pete. <laughs> and since Max clearly dealt with pro- these sorts of problems at school, considering he <laughs> sucked himself up on, on multiple occasions, <laughs> I was wondering if Max could give me some advice. Uh it's a very good question. Mm. Um, yeah, thank you for the question. Yeah, Squelchy uh, Pete. Stinky Pete, Squelchy Pete. Yeah, he's, yeah. Not, he's anonymous. Uh, okay. <laughs> and, no, no, he is. He's not put his name and he's... Yeah. Go well, on. fair enough. Um, I mean, it's already happened, so you're either going to have to... I'd just say do something worse. Does pe- make people stop calling me Squelchy Pete. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Do something really bad. But then he'll still be getting called names. <laughs> Yeah, but not spell GP, which is humiliating. No, no. could I suggest something here, maybe? Go on. Go on. Get one of your friends, maybe John the fucking prankster. Get him with a. Laxatives. Taco Bell, same thing. Uh, Just fill him with that. And tell him, yes, yeah, just a couple of lads out. And he'll go, John might think after he's eating it, hang on, what? Squatchy Pete, why have you got a GoPro attached to your head? And he'll go, (laughs) it's too late at this point. Yeah, yeah. He'll go, you'll see. You fucking clown, <laughs> and then follow him to the toilets, and Shit you'll hit. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah. 
and you might get called pervy Pete you know s- better than squanchy Pete I suppose squelchy squelchy yeah. <laughs> squanchy <laughs> uh, but yeah that's what I'd do yeah, get him back cool. okay I'd shit down his throat <laughs> <laughs> So this one's a <laughs> this one's a little more long winded, but I thought I'd include it because it shows we've got fans overseas. Hey! Hey! And it's the travel special. Hey! Hey! Yes, lads. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, the situation I'm in, I'm at some tiny college playing football in the middle of nowhere in America. Hey! I fucking love American there football, don't you? Lads? Same, same. The yeah. culture, yeah. the food. There is hardly any fit girls here, and this semester, some fit girl came and I've been chilling with her. Oh, nice. she's invited me to go to spring break with her, Ralph. and she also asked if I want to stay over with her in the summer, which if I find a summer team, I would love to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she always used to talk about her ex, which was annoying, <sighs> but I think she would start dating me if I asked. However, at a party, I met an eleven out of ten girl, Ralph. and I kissed her, Ooh. but she lives like three hours away. Oh, the girl I mentioned earlier lives on campus, like me. I can most <laughs> I can most likely smash the girl three hours away <laughs> when she next visits, but I won't want to ruin the relationship I have with the girl on campus because she doesn't know about her. The girl three hours away is fitter than the girl on campus, but they are both fit AF. Any advice, Max? <laughs> You've Max, come to do you want me to right repeat man. any of that? Yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> no, no, on, what are we saying? I was for, just going to sum it up. You know, you're on the college football team. Yeah. Uh, you've got a girl there who's good looking, yeah. but there's one that's better looking, but she mm. lives further away. What are you going to do? Uh, just bang them both. <laughs> that's what I'd do. The well, same he's, time. he's worried about that the girl that you know is close to home. You know, is yeah, you know, I'm sure you can you know sneak about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. easy, mate, easy. Have you have you ever had a girl who? No. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you say the problem with the first girl was? Uh, I think she's just not as fit as the other one. Yeah, but the, the thing the first girl is a ten out of ten, and the one three hours away is an eleven out of ten. I think he's being greedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go you know, heart. Yeah, you're you a should jock. be so lucky. You know? Yeah. He's not even asked this first girl. She might say no. 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 He's, he's got full yeah. confidence in himself. Yeah. What, was the, what was the thing about the ex that he was banging on about? Oh, I think it's just that the first got, girl keeps talking. Yeah, about some doubts as to whether. Oh, so that's a downside to her. You say. Yeah. So maybe he's hesitant to ask her, but he thinks that she will. Yeah. Mm. I reckon yeah. it's a jealousy sort of move. Yeah. Like, oh, my ex does this. Well, I did this. What? Uh, yeah. What are you going to do different? Yeah. Sort of thing. Realistically, and he then, can't yeah. be asked with all that. So mm. three hours away seems like the better deal. But it's, nothing's going to happen there long term. Exactly. Like three hours away. Exactly. No. You know. But You're three at college, hours away it's not over. It lasts forever, is it? You know. Nah, exactly. But three hours in America. Tom, Tom met his like... girlfriend in the equivalent of college. <laughs> yeah. It's still did. together. Mm. Oh, uni. Yeah, yeah. Cool, she did. Where did you meet your girlfriend? Uh, college, sixth form. College. Sixth form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a nice one to end on. This Go is on. from. Uh, did oh, we help him there? Ah. Uh, I think just there's no help. Make a decision, you know. Yeah. Stop being this. Flip a coin. Yeah. Yeah. Flip a coin. You know. it, things might go tits up for exactly. both. 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 Yeah. Can't be sure of things in life. He might get, you know, battered in American football and be a paraplegic. Mm. His dick won't work for living the money. Yeah. 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 Living the money. Learning. Stop, yeah. You know, yeah. Fretting about all these things. <laughs> so this one is from the stupid gang. So uh, <laughs> oh, a of rival nice. podcast yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they've got a genuine question, and I think they're really reaching out here. They say, nice. Max, what is the cheapest? But worst, most worthwhile way to spend a day? Oh, that's good. Good question, Ooh, guys. <laughs> Playing video games, <laughs> easy. That's oh, all right. I do. I don't really do much, though, to be honest can, with you. Can I pose I'm, it differently? I'm literally the worst person to ask. Max, on. if you have one day left on this planet, what would you do with it? Just, pl- just play video games. Probably call my parents and go, see you later. See you in a bit. And then, yeah. Let's... I've always wanted to rob a bank. Really? Yeah, okay, should we put it to left. Dave instead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put it to Dave seems yeah. like more Cheat, of a Because good... you're, you're a student, you know, I am, you know, obviously I am. money's tight at the moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whereas Max is fucking lush yes. with cash. Yeah. <laughs> Cheapest but most worthwhile way. Well, ugh. To get around. To, no, do to spend a day. To get around. Not to get around. <laughs> Roller skates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. You could go... What what money are we speaking, like, just for sake of argument? you got three pounds to your name. Three, yeah. pa- three quid. All I've got is what I've given you. Given, here, right, it's, it's... okay. For the sake of argument, we'll say we've got three quid. Um, spend some time Let's with the home... Let's say we've got a tenner. Tenner, tenner. okay. Yeah. Tenner's okay. good. Ooh, tenner. Uh, spend some time with some homeless people. I bet they've got some stories enough. Yeah. See. 
Uh, give him a pound per story. No. <laughs> or just free. Or just free. They won't feed tonight. Uh, or we, you could uh, go ice skating. I hear that's cheap nowadays. Won't expect any of this advice, would you? No. <laughs> so Pay homeless people for stories <laughs> or go ice skating. <laughs> what if the, uh, you know, it's not in ice skating in sort of climate? Climate, like uh, atmosphere. Uh, atmosphere. Uh, I'd... Uh, Well, I, I, I was this. focusing mainly on ice skating. You had a lot of eggs in that basket. Yeah. Once enough. you get it in your head. Fair enough, I, 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 Ice skating okay. was there, and now yeah. you said it's no longer a thing. I don't want to do anything else now. Do you know what? I'm, I'm with him on that, because for my 18th birthday, I was mm. obsessed with going ice skating. I don't know yeah. why. Me I didn't ask any were. of my friends. Mm. I just got my mum to take me. <laughs> was you any good? No. Nope. I had to go on them penguin things. Did you? Yeah. About them. We discussed travel. We discussed holidays. We discussed... Um, Dirty teachers, back again. <laughs> it was a you know a mixed bag. Yeah. Definitely a mixed bag this week. Did yeah, we, uh, we had some good laughs. We yeah, had fun. Last, last week was great though, wasn't it? Let's listen to last week again. Last week's show. <laughs> oh, those oh. are the days. Um, but yeah, thank you all for coming. We've what are we going on to next week? Your birthdays? Not decided. I think birthdays is more fun than family. Birthdays or family? Uh, we might leave up to next week to decide. Yeah. Anyway. Till then. Tr- you know, good luck trying to sleep tonight with that. Uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the show. Stay safe and ciao. Well done, lads. <laughs>